Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, Gary Grigsby's War in the East 2. Today, I come to you from an undisclosed location on the United States' western coast. Uh, we... I, I called this episode Anaconda Moscow. We got to put the big squeeze on Joe Stalin. Uncle Joe, we got the notification this time. He has not left Moscow. He sent the rest of the communist uh, forth into the countryside. But uh, Joe himself has not lost or has not left. Well, maybe he's lost. We shall see. We shall see. Now, whatever you think of the streams or the game or the live stream of the game, it's better than doing taxes, and so I welcome you on tax day in the United States. Now, I uh, have to file taxes quarterly, uh, but then you it all comes due at some point, my friends. It all comes, <laughs> the paperwork has got to be filed uh, today. And so I thought, well, I could do taxes and maybe not stream today. And then I thought, no, actually, I could probably stream and do, I've got till midnight. <laughs> I've got till midnight. Uh, so anyway, let's, uh, hell, I may just play this game until like 1147 PM and, and, tr and try to get the filings in anyway. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As always, uh, we're almost up to 3.1 K. Uh, we're just past the six month anniversary of strategy gaming dojo. Uh, you all have earned at least a yellow belt in the dojo. At least some of you may be still stuck on white belt. I don't know. Hello, Michael. How are you? Thanks for dropping by. I need all the help I can get today. We've got to get up and around Moscow. We've got two Panzer groups, and we got to figure out the best way to approach this right in and around, you know, hugging in here on Moscow. I didn't know Moscow was so rivery. Uh, there's, there's rivers running here to and fro. Uh, it is, luckily, a minor rivers though so that that helps there's also thick woods here to the east of moscow but as you can see it thins out right here around the city we've also got what two three four five six seven eight uh, approximately 10 soviet divisions that are now trapped well i gotta watch what i say they're not trapped yet <laughs> they're not trapped <laughs> don't send me the hate mail we will get them trapped this time uh the problem necessarily isn't you know encircling them here the problem is what are we going to use to clean them up there uh because i want to use a lot of these to push on moscow right i don't want a lot of these divisions hanging back here worried about pow's uh we want to get up and around and so we've got to kind of judiciously use our forces right in this area to make sure they can't get out uh to the to the bottom now there's nowhere for them to go really but that being said, we want to make sure they can't squeeze out this way, this way, this, you know, I mean, a lot of different directions. So we got ground to cover. I also, uh, I got to decide what we do with Ninth Army here, because of course I like to shuffle, right? I'm always shuffling my line towards the objective, uh, but Ninth Army's got a lot of ground to cover. And we do have Modal's guys ready to go. Oh, someone made the a uh, very, very good suggestion. Uh, I was it you, Yahtzee? I'm not sure. Uh, now I can't remember. Somebody made the good suggestion that since this unit could only get here in the north, why don't we take our rail, repair that hex, and then move right back to Luga? Brilliant. Brilliant, and that's why some of you get promotions, uh, because now we'll be able to rail them all out, including that last unit. He will not get left behind because he couldn't get all the way into Luga. Uh, so that was well thought out. Real truth. Hello, Auckland Anzac. You are becoming a regular, and I like it. Um, yes, the Luftwaffe. We will set it loose on the IRS. Now, is that the kind of thing that gets you kicked off YouTube? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Will they call it an insurrection if uh, I send the Luftwaffe to the IRS offices? Potentially. Um, although that'd be a, a, very interesting to them to see those early Luftwaffe planes flying over D.C. Everybody would be like, hey, it's an air show. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, I got to get a drink. All right, there we go. Um, yep, we're going to grab old Uncle Joe. 
we'll we'll see. We'll see. I have a feeling Uncle Joe's got a plane at the ready, my friends. I don't think we're going to see him uh, paraded uh, down Red Square. Um, all right, so where to start here? Hell, I don't even know. There's a lot of stuff we have to do. I mean, I always start with the infantry, usually. We do need to break some zones of control here, uh, but I was actually thinking about starting with the panzers and kind of seeing where we got to and then doing the infantry. Now, we've already moved some of the infantry back here, right? We've moved all of this part of 9th Army, and we had to split up a division to come back here and deal with this little breakthrough. I think we'll be fine there. I mean, you know, he's not going to be able to get that far. He's now technically isolated, I think, for next turn. Uh, and so, you know, I think that's fine. This unit, I guess we'll just start with the infantry. Let's just start with 9th Army and let's finish that up. I also got to make sure I move this headquarters, right? Let's get this headquarters moving up a little. Eee, this isn't great. Uh, let's actually move him over a little this way. Okay, that puts everybody in, or in command. He's 12 of 15 right now. Damn, I can't get into that hex, but that also actually helps us. That's deep, you know, heavy forest, so they're going to have a hard time moving through there as well. Uh, I mean, I guess this guy could move up, but let's let's not do that, actually. Um, all right, I think that all looks fine. Now, where's your headquarters? Okay, we're into Rezhev, by the way. We did take Rezhev. Uh, let's go look at uh, the victory points. All right, we're up to 515. Yay, yay. Now we've got, uh, what, uh, 15 turns to get 10 more points. We can do it. Um, all right, uh, let's also, well, no, I'm going to go back and move these. Sorry, little indecision there. Uh, let's move this unit. Do I want to <laughs> I keep going back and forth? I do want him to be on this side of the river, but we got to protect against this unit breaking through in any way. So I guess I will move him. Shit, I'm tempted to just leave him right here, but that also leaves a two gap. So I think I'm going to move him there. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to double up these units momentarily. And I think I'm going to do a deliberate attack with these two guys here. Uh, let's make sure we're on both. There we go. Uh, with two divisions, so the 255th and the 35th, they're both part of 5th Corps. Let's hit there and see if we can knock them back a little bit. Okay, I'll take that. 10 to 1. They lost a lot of planes. Um, and now we'll shuffle right back with him. Nope, didn't want to do that. Back that up. Just one of them. Just one of them. Um... Let's go there, and now this guy can replace the Panzer infantry, and this guy can move one over, and we'll, you know, we'll do our usual every other hex uh, that works most of the time for keeping, at least keeping them from advancing too far. All right, uh, they can always break through that if they have enough force, but it, many times we'll do a good job of holding them from going more than just, you know, to this hex. All right. Now then, where's it, where are the important hexes on our approach here? Well, from what we can see, we've got a, a 12 here directly in front of Moscow. We're not showing anything behind that. Now, I, have, I find that hard to believe. Uh, and then we've got an unknown unit there. We've got what is representing cavalry on top with a 7, but this is three counters deep. I doubt that's only a 7. All right. Now I've had my I had my little say. What does that mean we're going to do? Well, this guy doesn't have that many movement points, right? And we really kind of got to wait to move him until we've broken some kind of zone of control. What I'm going to do, I was looking at this before the episode started. I'm going to actually back this Panzer up. And I'm going to back him here because he's out of everybody's zone of control. Gosh darn it, that costs a lot of points, though. Hmm. I could move him forward here, but I'm moving into a zone of control. I am there too. 
you know, we're just moving out of a zone of control. So it's costing us quite a few points. Um, the reason I want to get him out of here, well, I'll just show you. Actually, I'm going to move him right there. It keeps him two hexes ahead of these guys, and it only costs two additional movement points. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this infantry, the Panzer infantry here, all right? And we're going to do a deliberate attack with both divisions and Das Reich SS motorized and really make sure we blow this guy the hell out of here. And we did. I mean, he's just gone, obliterated. Uh, all 5,700 men completely shattered. Um, now that infantry is stuck. Uh, they, they've only got one movement point since we had to do a deliberate attack there. Uh, but I really wanted to make sure. Now, Das Reich can move forward. Okay. So can, can we get to that hex is probably the, really the question. Das Reich will just move forward. And yes, I know I'm moving through a zone of control and that kills his movement points, but I don't want to directly attack that unit. Not really. Um, I say, as I may come up here and do it anyway, but I think we can get around it. Uh, and look, when you're up here, it's close quarters. You know, uh, you're going to waste some movement points. Um, so I am going to move him there. Okay, now they're representing only a 17 there. All right, let's go find our... There he is. I was like, let's go find our other motorized. Hey, there you are. All right, we're going to move this motorized up there as well. All right, and then I'm going to go get... Uh, you can move forward. Wow. He can move forward. They're only representing a nine defense there. All right. I got to think this through. Uh, okay. So now we've moved him forward. He wasn't going to be able to move very far anyway. We can kind of complete this encirclement with something from fourth army, which is what I wanted to do. Cause I want these guys all to be free, free ranging. Uh, I've almost said free ball. And, um, Shit, we've still got a lot of movement points here with, the, like, these guys. I could move him and make this actually a lot stronger than I even suspected. Uh, he could also come down. Ah, that's what, how I'll do it. Okay. Um, right. He's going to come down here and block that off. He's already used a lot of movement points. And then this guy can also come down here and I think we can completely kind of block this off with these guys maybe even replace here shit now I kind of wish I would have moved this guy a little differently can he back anybody back up here no okay um all right He's actually going to come back this way. I think I have a pretty good zone of control for the most part here. We'll see. Um, what else? Oh, shit. I still have a motorized unit. Okay. Um, eh, he's having a hard time getting through here. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do with our Panzers first. How about this guy? He's got 36. Well, he doesn't get up here very far, but he can get there, and we could launch another attack. This guy also 30. I really want to get into that hex. But I want to do it with movement points. And the problem is, is this unit right here. But that is, oh, it's only Lightwood? The hell you say? Um, okay. Well, then, that kind of changes things a little bit. Um... Let's move this Panzer back. Let's move this infantry forward. Gosh, that's going to leave a gap here, but you got to do what you got to do. Uh, let's move this motorized forward. Wait a minute. Did I not do that right? Uh, it's into this hex. Shit. Uh, okay. Uh, well, that, I cost myself a couple of movement points there. Okay, now then, with all three of these, I'm going to have to do a hasty, but that's okay. He's getting support units. 
Nice. Okay, so we knocked that back, and we should knock its zone of control a little bit uh, and let us move through here a little easier with our panzers. All right, he's still got 5 of 14. He can go there. Can you get back here? You can, you dog. All right, you go back there. Uh, he can't attack, though. All right, good to know. Now then... He gets here with seven points now, or there with seven points, right? He gets there, not all the way, though. He gets there with five. Now I need to get rid of him, and he's now in heavy woods. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, uh, we've got multiple motorized units right here that we're going to move out anyway. Let's go ahead and hit him. Okay, and off he goes. 3,200 men. All right. Excellent. Now we can really start bringing these guys forward with with actual points. Um, what is this hex? That is light woods. Okay, that's good for us. Uh, let's make sure we don't spread these too far. Uh, okay, I'm going to actually push him in there. Gosh, he's got high... Um, he's got high fatigue now. This guy I may actually just bring around here, this Panzer Division. Do I do that, or do I put him up there? Decisions to make here. This is what happens. I don't play the turn beforehand, so <laughs> let's, you know, I'm, I'm watching it just the same you are. Uh, don't forget to move your headquarters in range. Thank you, Django. That is true. Uh, we're getting some friction. It's Klauswitz style. Yeah, that's right. Von Klauswitz. Um, indeed. Uh, hey, what's up, Terrence? How are you? Urzbeck, Django. Okay. Wow, we got a big crew here. Um, I had to take a, mo a moment there and contemplate the next move. Uh, we're obviously not going to do that. I would like to attack into this hex, but I certainly don't want to do it with a panzer division like that. I may... Hmm... I also want to get our motorized going over here, too, because we need to go around this side. All right, why don't we start... <laughs> I'm going to delay here for a second. Why don't we move our motorized... Let's get them going over here. Um, gosh darn it, that looks so enticing, though. Can I get an infantry unit up there with anything? Not really. Not enough. Not enough to do damage. Now, we will move... The cavalry, we're just going to move the cavalry up here like so, and we'll move, you know, other 4th Army units this way. I need to bust through this way. Now, you know I hate those mechanized units like that. I never attack them with my panzers. They just absolutely wreck panzers, and I, you know, I mean, they're mech. I get that, but man, it seems like they're awfully overpowered to me. All right, uh, let's quit lollygagging. Uh, can he do a deliberate? No. Okay. Uh, let's get our headquarters up here. We may as well put him right in that hex. We're eventually going to put him up there anyway. Same with this guy. I don't think we need to do any attacking out of this hex, so we can stack a little bit. All right. Uh, so those guys have moved up. Um... Do I just take territory this time, or do I really go for it? Uh, I think I'll move him there. All right, he's got no movement points left, but that's fine. We knew that was going to happen. He's sitting here with uh, rights. Mm. I think I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to attack. I hate to pa attack with just naked panzer divisions. I really, really do. Actually, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm afraid we're going to lose way too many tanks there. I do not believe he's only a nine. I just don't believe it. Now, that's probably the unit to, or the hex to attack into. Um, 
All right, I'm going to move him up there, and I'm going to do a hasty attack. Oh, he was only a one. Ah, I knocked him back. Look at that. All right. Uh, oof. That's living on the edge. Now then, I kind of, I was going to take third all the way around here and just try to anaconda this, right? That's why I called it the anaconda. But now, I mean, we've got a, supposedly a nine. I bet you it's like a 20. And we've got supposedly a four. Um, I could just keep pushing this way, but they're going to be able to bring stuff around. All right, I'm going to stick with my original plan here. All right, we're going to bring both of these guys here, and I'm actually going to stack them with a panzer. And it, But instead of going this way, I'm actually going to attack to the east, and off they go. So that was only the seven. That's like 6,000 men. We only lost eight tanks. Um, now then, I really, really want to just use motorized to attack here. Uh, against that mech force. Can I even use the panzers if I wanted to? No. Can the panzers back up or back out? No. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right. But we're up and around. Now, I could attack here, but I don't want to. I, I think all of that is like just throwing away tanks. Uh, I Oh, yeah. Oh, I still have this motorized unit here. I could move that up. Um, ooh. I want to go after that. All right, let's try it. He's now... Mm. Tell you what, let's take a shot at this uh, dude with our motorized and just see what he's got. Uh, because we're probably not going to get into that hex anyway. All right, so we lost 33 men to see he's actually truly an 11. Um... Now they're showing infantry on top, not mech. Okay, it's interesting. Um, tell you what, I'm just not going to mess with him. I just want to surround... Oh, okay. We don't have much out there, it looks like. Let's drive through here. And see what we find. I'm going to hit the cavalry. I'm going to hit both of these, right? I mean, let's make sure this is good terrain. Swamp. Well, it's not. Okay. Um, that's also swamp. Well, I'm next to this rail line now, so we've already kind of, you know, quote unquote, cut it, at least for troops. Of, I'm going to go ahead and hit that unit and see what happens. Hey, we only lost... Well, let's not speak too soon. We lost... Whoa! I love when they do that. They moon. He moonwalked straight back 50 kilometers. Now we've got one of these airborne units. We know those aren't strong. Um, that's representing a one, but I don't like mech on mech. I would rather hit this, see what happens. We lost two more tanks, uh, but that's okay, I think. I think that's okay. Uh, can anybody shuffle to the right? Maybe this guy. Can he get there? No. Um, I would like to hit this with the motorized. Ay, ay, ay. See, we run the risk here. I, I'm running the risk, I guess. Oh, I've still got this unit. Okay, I am going to do that then. Let's, um, does it, he's got one movement point. All right, okay. Uh... He's going to be out of command if I move him there. Let's keep them all together. He's now out of command, so let's move the headquarters up. Can he, I don't think he can do a deliberate like that. Ah, he can! All right, let's try to blow that out. No, it was a four. It was a little stronger than we thought. Ah, shit. Well, that kind of slows us down a little bit. Um... Can you get up there? No. Can you get up there? We may have to do this attack with something just so I can get into these hexes. Those are the ones I really want to get into. Eh, crud. Uh, I really don't want to do this attack. All right. I can't believe he can't get up there. Uh, let's run this unit here. Let's try to hit that again. And, oh, they got shit committed to the defense now. Um, 
All right. Well, let's move him back there so they can't cut us off. Let's move him. He just can't quite get there. Um, let's move him there initially. Let's try to do... Boy, this is a tough one. All right, I'm going to hit him. 26 tanks. That's what I was afraid of, but we did knock him out. Um, and now he can get there. We're getting up and around, but we're still behind this river. Damn it. Uh, okay. Well, you, oops, sorry. Uh, you live and you learn. <clears throat> no, that's okay. Um, uh, my picture dropped off for a while. What in the heck? Um, Yeah, we lost three, Terrence, and they lost 3,000. <laughs> they were already in pretty damn bad shape, but yes. Uh, sorry if my picture dropped. I don't know. I wasn't looking at that screen. Well, he's down to 195 tanks. It's not the end of the world, uh, but we did lose 26 there. I really wanted to get into that, and I think this was the unit to do it. I should have brought him up first, but we probably would have lost even more. Why are you all by yourself? Let's back you up, that headquarters. Okay, now then. Uh, where do we go from here? Uh, I'm not talking about relationship status. Um, let's see, 9 of 15. Oh, he can get here. Okay, excellent. So we can basically surround these guys kind of with just the Panzer divisions. Um, okay, I'm going to put him there. We're in really good shape right here, by the way. I, I kind of want to attack there but we know how that goes when i do that it usually does not end well um let's figure out who we want to move up here and it looks like it's 43rd cores who we want to put directly to the south of moscow um so we're going to go there and see we've just created this huge gap and now we can bring our infantry into it right uh, we'll go there. Now, we can't get there, but that's fine because we actually need to cover more territory. We'll go there, and we'll go, let's say, there. All right, that looks good. All right, so now we've kind of covered this area. They're going to be rushing down here to take on the Panzers, but they've also got Panzers here, and now we've got the infantry arriving. Next turn, we'll rail in modal, which will allow us to bring in more of fourth. Okay, now who do we want to move next? These guys are the furthest south, sort of. Um, is it this group I want to move? Okay, it's probably this group we actually want to move up here. Um, he can't quite get into that, but almost... He's almost there. Uh, why don't we do something like this? Let's move him around that way. All right. Let's take this unit, which is a very strong unit, and we'll put him... Why don't we put him there? And then... Is that right? Nah. Let's actually put... Is that right? Nah. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let's get these guys back into a division while I'm monkeying around. All right, there we go. Um, I just want to make sure I've got enough coverage down here. Uh, he could go there. He could go there. Why don't we put him right there? All right. And then we'll take their headquarters and we'll put it right up here. Um, then we've got these guys. All right, you guys, let's go. Uh, we could put them up this way and help clean this up and drive right into Moscow. It's probably the best idea. All right, so I'm going to take the uh, two divisions. I guess I'll put him there. I'll put him there. Oh, I guess we captured a depot. Now, I mean, they're completely choked off now, um, as if they weren't before, but they really are now. Uh, now, their other regiments, though, we're going to move up here to play a little defense. 
We'll put them in the thick woods. They'll never find us. Uh, you. You. Let's put their headquarters up here. Oh, this is another headquarters. Whoops. Uh, all right. We'll put them behind all those divisions. Maybe I'll even put them right there. And I guess their headquarters can kind of do the same. This actually looks a little... Eh, what is that? 13th Corps? He's 13th Corps. Okay. I'm trying to scoot, but we're, we've moved a lot of territory. Now remember, next turn, I'm going to bring Modal in right in here. Uh, and uh, probably right in here. Maybe even right in here, actually. Uh, so all we've got to do is just kind of hold them back a little bit. But man, we don't have a lot of units out here. Um, gosh, that's too far away. Let's, uh, shit. Let's maybe put him... I thought he had more movement than that. What about his, the other guy out here? Uh, Seventh Corps, where can you go? Okay, Seventh Corps will go there, I guess. He'll start there. So that means you need to go here sure oh you know what i'll do actually this is well held he can come down here if he wants i'm not that worried about that um let's actually bring this unit down here um if he wants to try to escape this way i mean there's nowhere for him to go there so let's bring that down that makes that a lot stronger uh this headquarters needs to come around here all right, so now these guys, oh, they're kind of where they need to be. This is where they would counterattack, I think, <laughs> if they really wanted to screw with me. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, we got more that can come up here. Let's bring him up actually all the way up here just so they're not tempted to come away around this way hopefully, or through here. That would not be good. We could even bring him back a little, maybe. But nah, that's all right. Um, right, then. Okay, uh, these guys, I'm not too worried about a counterattack this way. If they want to go this way, then uh, that's fine. They'll run into a modal next time. We'll just do every third. We can't lose Viasma, so actually maybe I will beef that a little bit. We'll see. Uh, so there, yeah, that's, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it like there. And second, again, gets the short end of the stick from a defensive perspective. Uh, you know, I'll bring this all the way back here just in case they get some kind of weird breakthrough. The one place I'm worried is right here. Do I have a, oh yeah, I do. Okay, let's take this motorized unit and bring it down here. Maybe here, right by the division, or here, or here. <laughs> There's like 10 different places I want to go. Uh, let's bring him down here. That works. Um, okay, everybody's in command. That We're going to get some counterattacks along here, but hopefully we've guarded against that well enough. Two regiments here doesn't strike fear in the hearts. Uh Good enough. Good enough. Uh, what am I missing? Kaluga does look suspiciously empty, Michael. Um, uh, Stanley Kubrick, right? So you start seeing, ee, ee, you know, you, you are, all of a sudden you see me in a not with a knife in the background, and you see like blood rushing in, like tidal waves. Uh, yeah, very Stanley Kubrick. Or maybe it just went silent for like 10 minutes. You're like, man, this is very artistic. Um, <laughs> that's good stuff. Uh, all right, let's start scooting, boys. Boot scoot boogie out here. Um, oh, this headquarters. Let's get him out of the line of fire a little bit. We'll bring him up here. No reason to have him hanging around down with the, this mess. I don't want him to be even be associated with it. Um, all right, we've got to do this. Now we've got this, uh, Flieger Corps or whatever it's called, the, the air unit that came in here. So they'll help. I'm going to put him kind of in the middle of all this mishmash. And we just got to hold on one more turn. 
until we get some reinforcement. So I'm just going to put him out here sort of, you know, every other hex, the best I can. Oh, he's got no movement points. All right, so this core has to get off the train, the seventh Flieger. He'll just come up here and directly confront this guy. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. Um, he's going to come around there. Man, this is really throwing it together. But, I don't, you know, we're, we're advancing on Moscow. It gets really thin out here. Uh, we'll have him come. Is that right? No, I want him there. Then I'll have you come there. Just shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Let's hopefully, hopefully we can hold Mogilev. Uh, I'll have him come behind the river. Behind the river. Oh, he's with these guys. Ah, uh, you're with those guys. Uh, sure. How about this? We'll put him up here, like, behind this river. So they should have to expend a lot of movement points to try to get here, get up in here at the very least. Um, <laughs> he's got regiments just everywhere, everywhere. This is probably where I'm most worried about a counterattack. Uh, so we'll put the, the headquarters up here and try to get as many in command as we can. This is a real mess. Um, in a good way, though. I mean, it's for good purposes. All right, I'm going to move him all the way to, let's say, here. Gosh, he still doesn't have that guy in command. There we go. Is that too far? Uh, I don't know. That's their strongest units. I think if they're going to try to break through, it would be right here. Maybe I actually need to move him back for that reason. Let's get him in the middle of the swamps, the several swamps. Uh, I guess I could put these guys all under his command, but really, what's the point? I mean... We're going to have to reshuffle all of this next turn. Um, we've got a full division here, and this full division here. I'm actually going to drop back. I don't think there's any reason to push this right now. I'm going to drop him back kind of sort of in the middle. I'll put him... Why don't we do this? I'll put him there. Maybe leave him there. Put him there. I don't know. You know, I'm making it up as I go along on this defense here in the center. Uh, we've, we're all strung out here. Hey, look at this, though. we got a new guy. He's part of OKH right now. Could we put him in? Yeah, we could put him in Second Army. They need all the help they can get. Let's just do it. Let's make him part of Second Army. You, sir, have now been inducted into the fuchsia-colored Second Army. All right, uh, we're winging it, but maybe, I don't know. I'm really trying to get one of these Panzer divisions into one of these hexes. I want to get over this river, uh, but I just, I don't see a way. I don't see a way. We're going to get a counterattack there. I can't wait to see that one. Or actually, maybe right there, right? That's probably where I would counterattack and try to isolate these. Can I actually get this Panzer Division there? No. Well. Oh, crap. It's my weakest motorized, too. Hmm. Wow, he really cannot get into that hex. Uh... Well, at most, they would be isolated just momentarily, but man, I don't like that. Actually, I didn't realize that was my weakest, the lair. Hmm. What's up, Peter? How are you? Good to see you. I don't know. The, the AI will counterattack out here, I think. Well, I don't know. Hell, this is the first time I've played to this point, so... But I think they will. That is a weak, weak, weak. That's only a brigade holding this whole thing together. Uh, don't like it. Don't like it. But I guess we'll see. Uh, if not, I'll try to figure out something else. This unit can almost get there. But I don't think I have anything else that could get out there. 
do I? Do I? I ask you. Now the the pro, you know the thing is is they would again they'd be isolated for a turn. We've got so much strength here. They are probably much more interested in falling back, uh, but that is definitely a weak spot. Okay, well we'll deal with it if it comes up. Um, what about these guys? I I don't really ever know what to do with them. I just kind of keep moving them around out here, but I I'm always afraid something's going to sneak by me. Um. I don't know. Let's go there. We didn't see anything. Okay. Maybe there. Maybe down here. Let's go down here with him. Is that a good idea? Probably not, actually. Let's back him up. All right. This defensive line, it's not perfect, but I, you know, again, we're, we're just rolling with it. Let's go to the south. Uh, oh, also, this time I should go and look. I may maybe have some more, I don't know, Hungarians or Romanians that have activated. I haven't looked at that in a while. Um, I do have the Italians coming up the road here. Uh, you can hear them whistling at the ladies, uh, the Soviet ladies, as they go by. Uh don't worry, I love Italians. My wife's half Italian. Where I, nobody's trying to be offensive here. <laughs> I like to make fun of the Italians. Uh, but let me tell you, our grandma can cook, though. Uh, all right, I don't know. Probably leave this headquarters here. That's fine. The security unit's moved. I, I'm going to move him back here just so nothing can ever sneak by me. That's my biggest fear, is one of these units is going to sneak by me out here. Uh, let's start moving 6th. I don't know. Why don't we take Chernigov? Sure. Uh, that sounds fun. Chernigov, what do they have? Do they have a level 2 railway out here? What is it? They've evacuated. They see the dojo on the move. Get the hell out of here. Um... Chernigov does have a level two rail yard. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I don't know how much good that does us, that information, but now I know it. <laughs> so, yay. Uh, all right. Let's, yeah, there's a unit right there. As we move down this, I'm going to keep trying to shuffle to the east to Kharkov um, while taking on other units. Uh, am I too worried about this? Not really, but I've got another extra spare division back there, so let's try to knock him back. All right, adios, see you later, off you go. Uh, now we will shuffle him back. Uh, this guy, let's move him up and do a deliberate. Did we not move him? Ah, uh, you son of a gun. All right, that's fine. He's in the every other hex mode there. Let's hit him again. Now he's gone back. And we're just going to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle here. Now you can go over there, which means you can shuffle up here. Say to there. Still have a deliberate. Uh, let's hit you. you. You look weaker. We'll make him step back. And then we'll shuffle here. I don't think I'll do that attack on a five. Or will I? Do, do, do. We could do it with double. Yeah, let's knock him out of here. All right, there he goes. Now I still have six movement points uh, with the one unit. So let's shuffle you over. All right. Now then, we'll take this guy. Eee. Well, let's get him over the river. There we go. Okay, now he's... Ah, there's a unit. Now let's shuffle you. I'll go back and move the headquarters here in a minute. Ah, crap. He's only got five left. That's all right. We'll do a hasty. That works. Uh, let's go back and make sure this headquarters makes sense. Uh, I'm worried a lot more about the divisions than I am about this regiment up there, so we'll shoot over one. He's got his four divisions perfect. These guys are all together. They're all traveling together. Um, let's put you there. And let's do a deliberate. Off you go. Hey, before you know it, we're going to shuffle all the way to Kharkov. That's the plan. Let's get this guy up in this little nook and cranny. 
All right, up he goes. Now then, let's take you and go there. Let's take you, go there. All right, at some point we're going to stop shuffling, and I think that point is now. We'll try to deliberate with all three of these and really knock this unit back. Off he goes. All right, excellent. Um, this unit worries me. That's the only unit. Uh, that's good. I want these guys to all bunch up here in front of Kharkov. Fine by me. Now let's hit this unit and see what happens. I don't think we're going to move him, but... All right. Um, Got to weaken that one a little bit. Uh, not you. You go there. You go there. You go there. All right. And this... It, this is one of the places I'm looking at to break the Panzers through. So, because of that, I'm going to move this unit up here. And I'm going to do a deliberate there. Off you go. I'm also going to do a deliberate here. I'm going to try a hasty there. Hey, it did knock him back. All right. I'll take it. Um, now then, can he move? No. Can you move a little bit? Uh, I, 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 shoot. Uh, okay, I'll just leave him set up like that. That's fine. That's not the end of the world. Um, everybody's in command there. Oh, right. Well, we still got the Romanian, or uh, yeah, the remaining cavalry up here. Uh, these guys, I'm actually going to pull back for a turn. Um, they do draw Soviet forces. So when we go for the total encirclement around Kharkov, I'll push them right to the front of Kharkov. So everything's there trying to stop them. And then we'll bring the panzers around the backside. That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, okay. Hell, I don't know. I could probably put them right down here by the depot, really, for now. I don't have anything... Well, tell you what. I'm not going to use those movement points because I could move them down here and use them for something. I just don't know what yet. All right, let's take Stellino. Um, all right, so he is part of this group. Uh, we got to make sure... All right, so he's going to go there. We'll put the cavalry right across the river. There's no way we can get all the way around this before you send me the hate mail. Uh, there's just no way. Uh, or it wouldn't make sense, because I'm going to back the panzers out of here. But I want to get rid of this zone of control before I do it. Uh, I think we've got plenty with six German divisions to take Stellino. We shall see. But that should be enough. If 67 was close to accurate, we shall see. Hey, there you go. We've taken Stellino and its glorious smokestacks. Real truth. Any word from Matrix on discounts? I did not hear from them today. Uh, yes, 7th Leaguer Division is an elite unit. Nordhammer, you are correct. Oh, Ibu Satanus is giving a very good, uh, I, you know, you're, you're right, Army Group North, that whole core, taking it out of there is a little risky. Uh, what I'm doing is, I know, I, no, I don't know, that's not true. I can't say I know something that I don't actually know. I think that we will be able to take Leningrad eventually. Now, I know you're talking about something different, and that is making a huge encirclement in the north uh, to limit their ability to counterattack during the winter. I've been thinking about that as well, and maybe being a little less aggressive out of, uh, about taking Modal out. The thing is, is usually I would take those Panzers out 
and put them in the center. I may try to use them to do one last encirclement in the north and at least take out, I don't know, five to ten divisions, which could potentially blunt a counterattack. But I, I know what you're saying. Uh, and it's actually a valid, very valid concern, to be honest. Um, can we get across the river with you, bro? Come on. Uh, nope. Okay. Let's move him a little. This, okay, so we're in Stolino. Hey, wait a minute. We did it. We did it. No. Uh, oh, shoot. I always forget where that is. Yeah. 531. Uh, if we can just hold on to turn 29, no sudden loss, because that would be a lot of egg on my face. My, You know, I don't I, I don't even like omelets that much. Uh, believe me. Um, we can move him up into town. But first of all, I'm going to get these panzers out of here. Uh, which is really what I want to do. So we're going to move them back here all the way out. Um, now, this all looks tempting, right? But they're getting a little low on fuel. We don't need them to take Rostov. There's just no reason. I mean, unless we were going to try to go for Stalingrad, and I've still, I don't think we will. I'll wait till the spring, uh, potentially. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, we we're trying for a sudden victory on turn 29. We may have to do it. Uh, it's very tempting to go in here, but... I may save that for next episode. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. I keep going back and forth what I want to do with these. This all looks very weak, right? But let's take the units off. Yeah, well... Ooh, that looks like fun. That looks like fun. And look at that encirclement. I mean, hell, if we ran that all the way up to Kharkov, they wouldn't have an army in the south left. Yeah. Tell you what, why don't we attack with our motorized here? And we'll see what kind of joy we get out of that and see if this is actually a real representation of... I knew that was going to happen. Now the temptation starts. This is what happens with me around chocolate cake. Uh, all right. Um, let's... I don't want to attack with these panzers at such low strengths and whatnot. They've, they've got, like, essentially no fuel up here. Now, we are, get, we are into D-Town now. So I'm hoping for a lot more. How about that? I'm hoping for... That reminds me. Let's build a depot here at Stellino. Well, hold on. What's the rail yard? I, I guess it kind of doesn't matter. We, we've got to have one here at Stellino. Um, and if I wasn't going to build one at Stellino, I should have left this in D-Town. I honestly kind of wish I would have, but... Oh, well. Create a depot in Stellino. Yes, please. Um, let's put that on priority. Speaking of which, let's go back to D town. Oh, that's Z town. Hold on, buddy. D town priority repairs. I should have done that last turn. Don't forget to do such things. Uh, Z town has got a level three as well. We may as well build this one up, right? I mean, maybe we'll get something through there at some point. Uh, speaking of which, we got to go do... Oh, we don't have. We don't even have one here. Okay, let's build one. Um, that's a good place to have a depot, certainly. And let's do priority repairs there. All right. Oh, no, we're, we're down to 58 AP. Oh, okay. Uh, we've still got a motorized unit back here. We've got these panzers that'll be all juiced up next time. I kind of want to lead it, lead their forces away from Rostov. I mean, that's part of what I'm trying to do. He's got 10 left. He could get into that hex. He can also get into that hex. What about the eight? Yeah, he can get into both as well. All right. Well, we're going to go for it. Uh, I'm just going to actually put him there. Can the seven get up here? Yeah, he can get up there. Okay, I'm going to put him there. Um, I'm going to take the motorized and bring him up here. 
this should take the heat off of the guys we want to take around to Rostov because they're just going to flock up here. That's just how the AI plays. Uh, I'm going to try to do this just with my motorized, and it's not going to succeed probably. But I'm, I'm ho oh, 1.4 to 1. Well, here goes nothing, kids. This is how you lose tanks. It's not even necessary to mo blow this out this time. Oh, hey, we only lost one tank. I'll take it. And we're into that deep. Oh, nice. Now we lost five tanks. So you know what? I'm not going to cry over that. Certainly. Can he get it? Oh, and he can get in the hex. All right. Well, that all worked out a hell of a lot better than I was even planning. Um, all right. On we go. Uh, can we get anybody across? Oh, I want to get some more people across the river here. Now, we've got the mad Hungarians ready to fire on Rostov. we got to pull those guys back like on a leash. Um, can I do a hasty attack there? No, I cannot. Uh, I guess we'll beef up the town a little bit, and then we'll, I'll move this guy... Maybe I can move him there, and I'll start moving the... Ah, there we go. We'll start moving these guys across the river. There we go. Okay. I was wondering how that was all going to work out, and now we've done it. Come on, Rostov. There's got to be some good uh, Soviet uh, folk song about Rostov, I'm sure. It's probably beautiful. I can only imagine. Uh, I didn't want both of... I didn't want the headquarters to move. Why did you do that? I did not want you to move. Get back up here. All right, there we go. I got all excited. I wasn't paying close enough attention. Um, all right, we'll put you there in the catbird seat. Uh, these headquarters now all look okay. We got everybody in command. Uh, we've also got like this back here <laughs> that we could try to scoot into this gap. Uh, we probably should move them up a little bit, I guess, uh, to exploit this a little better next time. I mean, we could put them right in there. Good God, I hope we get freight up here this time. Oh, maybe we should move them, like, on the line? I don't really want to do that. Let's start shuffling these guys a little bit. Not completely. Now that we've got the Panzers there, we can kind of leave them... As is. That looks fine. I was even thinking about bringing the Romanians up this way to hold the line so 17th can come out this way. We've got so many damn Romanian troops running around here. It's not like they're that strong, uh, but they've got some strength. I mean, they're not, not strong. Uh, maybe I will have them fill some gaps. So let's let's have them come up here to the north. We'll get those mountain units. That's just what we need. Mountain units up here. Um, let's just take this whole Romanian core up this way. Why not? We maybe even will fill in some gaps back here. Could do a little bit of that. How about you go there? He's pro They're probably all going to get counterattacked this time. Uh, but let's bring this core up this way. I think they can help at some point. Who knows when that will be. Uh, so on you go. We've got 17th Army and 1st Panzer Group there. We've got the uh, the orphan headquarters. I could put them in charge of these damn Romanians. Uh, we've got them there. All right. These guys, though, let's get them moving towards Rostov. So we'll get them going this way. Oh, that reminds me. Let's pull... Oh, shit. Look how many movement points the Slovak has. All right. There you go, buddy. We just captured a little more territory. Thank you, sir. Can he get up to there? No, he can't. Oh, too bad. Um, I'm going to move these guys like back up in this area. Just stack him there. Um, the Hungarians... I'm going to go here and try to block off 
them moving to Rostov. Oh, well, they got a little more out here than I thought. Let's back him off. Uh, they'll try to pin us here, but now we've got the infantry coming. I'm not too worried about them. Uh, there may be a counterattack there, but to go where, you know? Uh, yeah, okay. Let's move, uh, let's move these Romanians up. He can't get across a minor river with five. Let's try that again. Yeah, he can. Come on. There we go. Um, he's still in command. All right. On we go. March on, soldiers. I really can't sing at all. That's why I love to do it. Have you ever noticed that people that can't sing really like to sing more than others? Um, there we go. Everybody's in command. Now then, these guys got to kind of clear out or help clear out a little bit. Although, I guess the mountain core is maybe my strongest Romanian core, isn't it? Um, I think it is. How far up here? Gosh, they can get all the way up and around here, though. Fine. Let's just have these guys clean up. They'll be the cleanup crew. Oh, we, oh, that's right. We already moved a lot of these guys in the south. I forgot because we were trying to get to Sevastopol, and then we couldn't get across that. Yeah, this Romanian Corps I'm going to bring up here and at least try to get here by the time we take Sevastopol just to clear hexes so that they can move and maybe get to Krasnodar by winter. I'd like to be all the way across the Crimea. That'd be fun. Um, I don't know. Let's bring this guy down here and see if there's any Soviets. I smell Soviets. Uh, no, none there. None there. Uh, this unit we'll bring here. All right, gents. Uh, I think we're almost to the end of this turn, if you can believe it. Uh, this They're starting to go by faster. Um, if you ever want me to explain something, sorry, I didn't read the comments a whole lot today. I always go back and watch though. And I try to answer any questions that you have. Uh, other people here obviously know the game well. So if you have a question, make sure you ask it. I will try to answer it at some point. Um, Terrence, yes, somebody has challenged me to a PBE game. Oh, you're saying in this game? Uh, so here's the deal. What I'm going to do is as soon as we're done with this playthrough, I am probably going to start a let's play playing the Germans on the defensive from the Stalingrad scenario. So what is that like Vistula to Berlin or some something like that, whatever the hell they named it. I'm going to start playing that on the channel just to play defense, right? Um, it's for people that are interested in how you do that. But on the side, I'm going to start learning how to play the Soviets. And then I'm going to put the challenge out, the bat signal, all right? And I'm going to play the Soviets since nobody plays the damn Soviets, really. Ten I think they said 10 or 15% of people play the Soviets. I'm going to learn the Soviets, and I'm going to challenge whoever. Uh, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll put it up for auction to your favorite charity or something. Who knows how we'll do it. But I'm going to have somebody else play the, uh, the Axis We'll play the Soviets, so you can root for the Allies out there. And, well, hell, maybe you'll be rooting against me. You're like, man, I want to shut this guy's mouth. <laughs> and if you do, that, that'll make it all the more fun. Uh, there's a couple of people that uh, I would love to play here on the channel who, uh, you know, see, we'll see how good they are playing the Axis against another human player. Uh, you know, how much, you know, oh, you rubbed a few movement points here. Well, shit, I don't know. I'm in Moscow in 14 turns. I must be doing something all right. Uh, but anyway, uh, we are going to play. I'll play as the Soviets, and uh, we'll do a play-by-email game uh, for sure, for sure. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, again, I'm always overwhelmed uh, by the uh, support that you give. Uh, thank you, Justin. Do appreciate that. Um, yeah, uh, let's keep playing. We're getting there. We're getting to really interesting uh, parts of the game here, right? 
Do not forget to check for new Italian remaining Hungarian units. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, that is true. I have got to do that. Uh, we've also got to decide what to do with Modal. You brought up a very good point this time about is it too soon to rail him to the center? Uh, it probably is, but I think I might do it anyway. So how about that? Uh, I think we're all right in the north, but yes, it will be prone to counterattack in the winter if we do not surround more of their troops up there. Uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, thanks guys. I will talk to you tomorrow. Same time, same bat channel, uh, two 30 Pacific coast time on a taco Tuesday. You know, I like to get out early for a margarita and some tacos. So, uh, that one may, Hey, this one's up to an hour and five minutes. My gosh. All right, guys have a good one.